Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Trash Talk with me, Mark Murray. This is the show to help hold you over until Trash to Thrash comes back July 1st. I want to start off by saying thanks so much for all the comments and the likes and the kind words on episode 20, the season one finale of Trash to Thrash. Um, even though I left a 45 second clip of the Ibanez Proline V when I was talking about the Crackle Kelly, still, the episode turned out awesome. Um, if you're a member of the Patreon page, then you can get the, the fixed edited version of that. But I'm just going to leave it up on YouTube like that because it got a lot of comments and a lot of views in the first 24 hours. And I don't want to delete it and start it back over. You know, it's got thousands of views now. So today on Trash Talk, I want to give you guys a preview of a couple of the guitars I'm going to be working on in Season 2. Um, have you guys ever heard of Arbor Guitars? Let me know in the comments if you've heard of Arbor Guitars because I had never heard of Arbor and they're a company from the 1980s that made like shred guitars. They made knockoffs, and I don't really know much about the company. Um, there's a couple websites out there I found with some information, but there's not really much info I could find on it. I found a few people out there who own Arbor guitars, and they pretty much all own the same Flying V. It's like a Concord, like a Randy Rhodes Concord clone. I'd never heard of this guitar before, and I got an email from a guy named Alex. And he said he's got one and he wants me to fix it up. We came up with this awesome game plan and he sent it in to me. Unfortunately, on the way in, the headstock got broken off the guitar. So it really bummed him out. You know, he was almost considering canceling the whole project because it bummed him out so much. But I, was, I told him, you know, I'm the guy to fix this. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I won't even charge him for the headstock. We got a crazy plan for that guitar and I'll show you a little bit of it in a second. But then what's weird is in the next couple days, I got an email from another guy named Jonathan who also has the exact same guitar and wants to send it to me. He got the guitar packed up real quick and then within a week both of these guitars arrived in my house. So it was such a trip that I'd never even heard of this company and all of a sudden before I know it, two of them are sitting right in front of me. His guitar, uh, Jonathan's, is basically done at this point and I'm gonna have them both in one episode together about Arbors. So uh, that's what I was saying. If you own an Arbor or you know much about the company, leave a comment down below and I might be getting in contact with you because I'd like to give a little bit of background on the company on the episode, so fill me in if you know some stuff about the company. Let me show you a little preview of a little bit of the footage of what's already recorded. There's something that's a little bit different about these two. They were probably made a couple years apart. Talking to the owners of both of them, they think they were both made sometime in the early 80s, but if you also notice the headstock shape is different. So this one's got more of the classic Explorer headstock, and this one's got more of a crazy metal, crazy headstock. I mean, it, this is modified a little bit from the factory. Jonathan sent me a picture of it from when it was original, and it had one more, what he called an ear coming off. Unfortunately, this one took a beating during shipping. When I got the box, I could actually feel the guitar moving around inside. Right away, it, I, I knew something could be wrong. I opened it up and unfortunately the headstock was snapped off the guitar. We're gonna make it perfect. After the refinish, you're never gonna be able to know that this neck was ever broken. All right, cool. So you'll have to tune back in in a few weeks when Trash to Thrash Season 2 comes back on. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. I'll be doing these Trash Talk videos every Thursday leading up till then, so I guess there'll be six of these. Uh, five or six. I might do something else on one of the Thursdays. If you don't know about the Patreon page, um, I kind of explained most of it on Episode 20, but I'm giving away a bunch of the guitars that I've been building on Trash to Thrash. So. The Roswell, I'm giving it away to one of my Patreon CEO tier subscribers. Someone's gonna win that one. That's probably gonna be in four months. Uh, June 15th is gonna be the first drawing. So go sign up now. And if you're signed up by June 15th, you'll be entered in to win the Ibanez Proline V. It's the, the white crackle one that I did on episode 20. The next guitar is probably gonna be the Rhodes, the teal and purple Rhodes with the black stripes that I did. Another guitar that's so cool, both of them are decked out, EMG pickups, Goto tuners. After that will probably be the Crackle Kelly, which things went awry, I'm getting it fixed up, and hopefully it'll be done 
two months from now, from now I sh I'm pretty sure it should be done. So that'll be then, and then the, the fourth guitar, the fourth month, will be the Roswell. So I'm going to be giving them all away. If I get enough patrons, I'm just going to keep it going. I've got a few other guitars that I've built on hand. The Stealth Charvel, uh, Frankenstrat. The other, the Fender Strat Stealth that I've been working on, Frankenstrat also. Um, the Blood Splatter Stealth Kelly that I worked on back on episode 7 or 8 or something like that of Trash to Thrash. I've got those other three guitars. So right now I've got seven that I could potentially be giving away each month. You know, one a month over the next seven months. So go sign up to the CEO tier of my Patreon. There's a couple people that have signed up for over 10 bucks a month. So that's really cool. I got to shout them out. I got to hook them up somehow with a little recognition because I really appreciate that. This is a... Uh, this, from when I started Trash to Thrash to now, things have changed so much. You know, people are sending me their guitars to fix up. I'm building and selling guitars. Pretty much all of them that I build sell pretty quick. And um, I appreciate you guys watching because it's helping get the word out about my guitars that I do. And I love doing it. And, you know, making a living from building guitars has always been a dream. So the CEO tier is the third. It's the highest tier on my Patreon. It's 10 bucks a month. And you're automatically entered into a contest where I'm going to randomly draw somebody to win a guitar. I'm also going to be adding in a couple other people from miscellaneous contests. Like on my Instagram page, I just showed the Ibanez Proline V and asked people to name the guitar. And I'm going to do a thing where I take the two names or you know do a bunch of them and make a little bracket and put them up on my Instagram story and have people vote on which names they like the best and then eventually come up with a winner. And I might take a couple people, I might just take the top winner, but they're going to be entered into the contest to win the guitar too. There's actually a law about no purchase necessary for a contest. So um, you, you have to have a way for people to enter a contest without just subscribing to your Patreon page. The only way to do that is going to be from winning other little contests like Name the Guitar or you know maybe a cover contest or something like that on my Instagram page. So make sure you're following my Instagram page, at Guitar Guts. Uh, go sign up for the CEO tier. There's two other tiers. There's, I think it's a $3 and a $6 tier. The $3 tier unlocks ad-free videos, and there's going to be some exclusive content that I, that's going to be on that one too. And then the $6 tier also uh, opens up to a monthly collab with all the patrons that are at the middle tier or higher. So we'll all vote on a song that we all want to cover together, uh, um, and the next month we'll put it together and I'll edit it all, and we'll have a cool collab. So everybody who's a member of the $6 tier can be part of a collab. You know, there could be months where nobody else wants to do it, so maybe even just one or two people from there want to do a collab with me. There could be months where everybody wants to get involved and we have 30, 40, 50, 60 people in a collab. So that's going to get real interesting. Um, I'll be putting those on YouTube and Instagram and all that. And I'll still be doing some collabs here and there on Instagram only for non-patrons, of course, because I'm not going to be leaving anybody out here. I'm not going to make uh, make people pay for stuff that I once gave them for free, like the collabs and Trash to Thrash and all that stuff. So go sign up for the CEO uh, tier if you want to win one of those awesome guitars. Remember, you could also get the Guitar Guts pedal, which has a kill switch and a booster built into the pedal. It's blood splattered. Actually, I got one right here. It's awesome looking. Look at that thing. It's got one knob to adjust the boost. It's got a kill switch down here. It's got a boost on off button here. It's got your input and output, 9 volt battery, uh, not 9 volt batteries. It cannot be powered by a 9 volt. But yeah, you can get these at guitarguts.com. They're still in the compact form right now, the phase 90 size. So click on guitars for sale. That's where the store is. That also has the guitar guts kill switches. So these things are cool. I just got these in a couple weeks ago. And I actually just got them up on the website in the last couple days. Uh, took me a while. I've been saying it for a couple weeks that, that they've been in stock. But we got gold like this. I got chrome. And then we also have chrome with a red LED. So if you have a, like a Frankenstrat or something, the chrome with the red LED is like the way to go. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, let me know down in the comments more guitars that you'd like to see me work on in the future. Because... I've got pretty much season two mapped out. I've got enough guitars here to fill the whole season, but I like to throw in a couple of little weird shop guitars like the Roswell and like the Crackle Kelly. Like I want to throw in some of my own projects as well. The season finale is going to be crazy. I can already tell you that, but let me know in the comments how I can make it even crazier. I got to throw a BC Rich in the mix, right? I think so. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Rock on, my friends.